This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 85. Mm. I was doing the dishes and I was thinking about how people do what they do because they just want to be happy and they just want to feel happy no matter what it is, guys. So we do everything we do in order to feel happy, either immediate happiness or happiness in the future. We think that something's going to make us happy, and so we do it. And um, yeah, I mean, that's that. It's simple. Um, And so I was thinking about all these people that I hear from all the time on social media Um, that people ask me questions about juice cleanses and water fasts and, you know, even dry fasts or like, um, you know, like they want to go on a, uh, seven day raw food cleanse or a juice feast, or they want to do, um, you know, a 21 day raw reset or whatever they want to do. Right. And it's cause they, they want They think it's going to make them happy. They think it's going to make them lose weight and that's going to make them happy. They think it's going to, you know, allow them to have clear, beautiful skin and that's going to make them happy. And, and they think that, you know, if they lose weight, then they can attract, um, a partner they really love and really want, and that's really attractive to them. And that's going to, that partner is going to make them happy. Or if they could just fit into a bikini they could just look really good in a bikini that's gonna make them happy and and guys i i'm telling you right now just like 9 11 happiness is an inside job happiness is an inside job it will never come from anything external ever ever yes you can feel grateful you can feel gratitude for all the amazing accomplishments and all the things that you have and that you're that you have manifested (sighs) sorry sorry i should be sleeping as usual but that you've manifested you can feel grateful but it's not gonna make you happy losing those last 10 pounds having a perfect body having perfect skin finding the perfect partner, having a million dollars in the bank, none of this makes you happy. No. The only thing that makes you happy is a decision to be happy. Here and now with what you have. And so I believe that the key to unlocking that happiness is gratitude. And gratitude is simply just a practice every day. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes what? Progress. Okay? And so, um, I, you know, I recommend you write a list of 10 things every day that you're so grateful for, that you're really, truly grateful for. Not the things that you think you should be grateful for. No, the things you're really grateful for and feel it and feel that gratitude. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to end this. The truth is that I already filmed this podcast and it deleted by accident because I was moving too fast. If I press publish too fast, it gets deleted and I can't control myself sometimes. I forget. Anyway, it was much better earlier, but... um. Hey, I'm recording it again because it's an important message that you need to hear. Um, none of these crash diets, none of these, like even if you change, even if you make a lifestyle change and you, hypothetically, okay, you eat raw vegan for 11 years and it's like per- you're perfect with your diet, perfect food combining, all you eat is 100% organic you know, fruit for breakfast, fruit for lunch, a big salad for dinner. You don't eat any processed foods. You don't eat anything that you're not uh, super proud of to eat. You don't eat any food that's make you that makes you feel guilty. 
or that gives you any health issues. Um, you know, you eat so perfect. It, you still not, it's still not going to make you happy, boo. It's going to make you healthy as fuck, but it's not going to make you happy. Because only you can make you happy. Nobody else. No diet, no money, no job, no nothing, no relationship. Nothing can make you happy but you. And this is where addiction comes from, guys, okay? Because there's nothing wrong with certain things, right? There's nothing wrong with, like, you know, gambling sometimes or being competitive. There's nothing wrong with... um, I mean, there's definitely stuff wrong with alcohol, drugs, and processed foods. So I'm not even going to go there. I'm trying to think of like the healthy addictions. There's nothing wrong with social media in moderation. There's nothing wrong with, um, what's another addiction? Oh, like sex. Yeah, there's definitely nothing wrong with sex. But in moderation, you know, when you have a sex or porn addiction, it can really destroy your life. When you have an any addiction it can really really take over your life and um and make it really difficult to be happy and so that's why okay so say that you are addicted to gambling you might go gambling once a week and it will make you happy for that time and then you'll 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 be happy during that time that you're gambling. And so you'll want to go twice a week and three times a week and four times a week and five and then every single day and then all day every day. And it's like then you never, like you're seeking something that was never the key. It was never the real happiness because that doesn't exist outside. Happiness doesn't exist outside of us. It's a choice, it's a decision, and it's it comes from being grateful. I believe happiness comes from being grateful. What are you grateful for? If you can't find 10 things, then then we just we can't hang out. We can't be friends. I'm sorry. Like I cannot even talk to you right now. Like do you have two arms and two legs and two eyes and two ears? Do you <laughs> Do you? Because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's eight things. <laughs> Do you have a phone? Are you listening to this on a goddamn phone? That's nine, boo. And don't make me tell you the tenth. Because it's just like, it's unbelievable. I'm sorry, I gotta go. I'm tired. But it's unbelievable that that some people tell me they can't think of 10 things. I mean, like, do you have 10 fingers? You're done. There's the list. There's the list, boo. You have perfect, 10 perfect fingers. And if you don't, then I'm sorry. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened to your finger. But if you only have nine fingers, well, then that's nine goddamn fingers. Nine more fingers than somebody who didn't wake up today. A lot of people didn't wake up today yesterday was their last day on earth don't waste this life okay you were blessed with life use it use what you have to help someone overcome the things you've overcome to help someone that that needs your help use what you have been given to help and give it to others. Use your gift, guys. Use your gift to uplift. Don't squander it. Don't squander away your potential because you're too ungrateful to realize what you have. And by the way, you want to be happy Work hard for something you actually care about. Do something you actually love to do and work hard at it. (laughs) It's going to be real difficult to be miserable when you come home from a long day of doing what you were born to do 
Oh my God, you were born to do something, guys. Do you know what it is? Check out the last episode. You were born to do something and it's it's the thing that's gonna make you the most money and and feel the best and attract your partner that you're supposed to be with and attract the right circumstances and and align you with your highest potential and your best version and it's like everything's going to work out perfectly but you have to you have to take the first step it's not going to be given to you you're going to leap and then the universe catches you the universe is not going to help you if you can't help yourself it's oh my god i'm thinking of this like fable and I don't know if that's the right word, but it's this guy and he's on a raft, okay? And he's praying to God, please God, please save me. Please send some miracle that I can get off this raft and make it back to civilization. Please God, please. And he's praying and he's praying all day, every day. And a helicopter comes to rescue him and they drop down a... um. They drop down a a rope and they tell him to grab onto it. They're going to rescue him. And the guy's like, no, no, God is going to save me. And then the helicopter leaves and the guy dies. And the guy was like, God, I thought you were going to save me. I thought you said that you were going to save me. And God is like, yeah, bitch, I sent you a helicopter. Like, Listen, I'm real tired, guys. I don't know if I said that story right. I know that God didn't use the word bitch. I know that. But you get the point of the story. God, the universe, Buddha, whomever you believe in, they help the people that help themselves. You got to try and then the universe going to have your back. But if you're not trying... Like the universe is like, um, I'm not just going to give away miracles. <laughs> you got to take the steps. You got to take the first step, the second step. You got to get on the path and stay on the path and do your best. If you're not, if you're buying, if you're at the grocery store right now listening to me and you're, you have Oreos in your cart and you're trying to be a healthy vegan, <sighs> you're playing yourself. You're not even trying. Of course the universe and God can't help you. The universe only helps people that helps themselves. Get those Oreos out of your cart, boo. Go get some oranges. Go get some cherries. Go get some grapes. Go get some damn fucking... I don't know what I'm thinking of. Uh, Bananas. Freeze them. Make an ice cream. What are you doing? By the way, I'll never forget. And I'm going to end it here. I will never forget that I was making ice cream one day. (sighs) This is craziness. I was making ice cream and my boyfriend put in a bunch of Oreos. Okay, so I don't know what I was doing. I think I like had to like text someone or I was posting something. I don't know. But I left the Vitamix for a second and I went to go get my phone or something. I left the room. I came back in the kitchen. My boyfriend had put like 10 Oreos in the banana and ice cream and was blending it. And I was like, what the fuck, bro? Like, what are you doing? He's like, wait till you try this. And I wouldn't try it because why would I do that? I'm like, I don't know. I think I was raw for like two years at the time. It was the beginning. So maybe like a year and a half or two years into my raw journey and I was like I will never eat that GMO crap like what no he's like it's vegan it's fine just try a little bit just try it and it's like there were so many red flags you know it's like do you even know me like do you even know what I'm doing here like with my life I'm not trying no ew and it's like that was my fault that was my fault because like i i would i refused to try it but i was i kept apologizing i was like i'm sorry i don't eat that like you know and uh no i don't need to apologize 
for anything, for setting my boundaries. And you know, a weak ass motherfucker would have fucking probably tried those Oreos, would have tried that nice cream. And they would have gone right back to processed foods because that shit probably tasted amazing. Probably tasted like a McFlurry or whatever. Uh, uh, what would they have at Wendy's? Yeah, McFlurries. I think. No, that's McDonald's. I don't know, guys. It's been like 20 years since I've been to Wendy's or McDonald's. Um, no, actually, for McDonald's, it's only been 12 years. But anyway, feels like a lifetime ago. All right, it's way past my bedtime. I'm trying to um, get better at that and i'm failing but hey i'm trying that's why i'm gonna end this podcast now i love you guys i thank you so much if you enjoyed this episode please um rate it leave a review subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a life-changing incredible ridiculously fruity amazing smelling podcast i just described myself except i the, the last part um uh, uh so you never miss one of those things again thank you so much guys i appreciate you and uh thank you for trying just that's all you need to do you don't need to be perfect you just need to try to be consistent and and just try every day every moment every second of every day try your best that's all you can do And that's all you need to do. Try your best. Your best is good enough. I love you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.